Hello everybody and welcome back to Paper Mario and this is part 19 and so we're we're continuing on here so now we're going to be getting into the the uh, the shy guy toy box there that's uh, the next area that uh, well I mean that's the next area that has the the star spirit and uh, so before um, I actually move on uh, to to that uh, I, I went down here earlier and I was I was gonna attempt to go um, do some stuff that's down here but I I was actually just a little bit like worried um, that I was like a little um, my HP was a little low and you know this is like a so so right now as you can see I had 96 star points there and I'm just like well let me let me actually level up here. So I go outside and then, um, well, I, I pretty much open pretty much this left side in that, uh, um, that little floorboard right there. Um, that spot to the left there, there's, um, you'll, you'll see here. Well, I'm not going to show what's over there, but, uh, well, I mean, I will later, but, um, right now I'm just going in and out and going to the right here and, um, fighting uh, the Goombas again here and so here we got enough star points like literally just enough and so I uh, so really the the I was thinking on what should I upgrade there and I was like going between either my FP or my BP and I'm like well I could do my FP there, and I would I can have a permanent, um, you know, more FP. Whereas, uh, strategically, I could go with BP and put on an FP plus, and that would be kind of like doing two things with this, this thing there. So that's what I thought right there was. Why don't I just do BP and then put on a FP plus uh, thing there? So that's what I do right here, just to kind of do both, I guess, in some sense there. Although the FP plus there is uh, only temporary. So, now that we got that out of the way there, I'm actually going to save. I'm going to put Gumbario in my party here. And uh, so we're going to go all the way to the right. And we're going to fight a um, one of, I think, three of these guys. And they are bloopers. So these guys, uh, you know, you, you, if you're familiar with the Mario series there, you know, you know the the bloopers here. And um, I actually love the dialogue of the tattle here. Um, <laughs> it actually mentions about, like, how is it able to actually float in the air. Um, I think this is it right here. Yeah, you have to wonder how they float in the air like that. <laughs> But, um, so these guys, they're, they're not exactly hard. Um, they're kind of, like, mini-boss level tier, like, in, uh, enemies here. Um, this is the, the very first iteration of the blooper here. It's just a, you know, normal, normal one here. Uh, as you can see, it has a max of 30 HP. And, um, it's not very hard to, to get, get, uh, to beat there. Just, uh, switch to, uh para carry here and um both the power jump and the show shot there you should be able to whittle down the hp down really quick um so the the other iterations are that they, they they just keep getting bigger and bigger um for their sprites there and uh they, they'll have a little bit more hp and um i believe the next one that i could fight is has the ability to actually electrify itself and um and all that and i think at some point uh, there's actually one that i can actually spawn um like little bloopers um like little blooper kids and um there i don't know that's whatever we'll, we'll we'll see the a lot of those uh later on in the um in the walkthrough here there i will probably try to like complete this entire like underground area there and um so we got that the shrink stomp there and that um that basically as it implies it shrinks the enemy and it actually 
Um, I believe the shrink status lowers the attack um, of the enemy there. I think it like like has their attack or something like that. Um, so I'm not going to equip that right now because uh, for one I don't have enough uh, BP to put it on. And it's not, it's not like useful per se, but um, I, I don't generally use it. So, uh, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to rest up there. There's actually a shy guy that I missed. He's jumping on the bed there. I actually thought I got rid of that guy. But, uh, but anywho, so uh, I'm going to rest here. And then uh, after that, we will actually be getting into the shy guy toy box. And so what we have to do is we have to actually switch to... Um, we have to switch to bow, as you'll see here. I'll be doing that, doing that ahead of time. I switched to Goombario, and I'm like, wait a minute, no, I need, I need, uh, I need bow. And so now we're gonna go to the the entrance to the toy box here. And um, I was double checking my items right there, and just making sure I'm actually even remotely uh, well, you know, well equipped with the, the items there. And I, I was like, yeah, I'll be all right. There, there's some items down there that I can get. And um, so this is where we encounter Twink. He'll just uh, he'll just update us on you know where to go next. There, he'll just say about going to the Shy Guy Toy Box. We already know, you know. <laughs> so. Uh, so the uh, this video here is just a little bit short. There, not. Not intentionally like I did that. Uh, it's just the way I worked it. Um, I didn't want to have this uh, this video go on for... I usually like to keep my videos kind of short there because then it's easier on my voice. Because if I do like a long like 30 minute video there like halfway through like my voice will start to like dwindle and I need to like take a drink or something. And um... So... Um, so, and also, um, I, as of this recording, I have not quite yet, uh, recorded more Corner Trigger yet, but I will, I will be getting to recording that probably relatively soon. Um, and this right here, I, I'm thinking there's a, a, uh, a start, uh, like a hidden, um, uh, panel there um i don't think it's in this area i think it's in like a tree or something that there's a, a star piece um you'll, you'll see later on there um we'll, we'll be getting a badge that allows us to give us a hint on if there's um a star piece there so what you do right here is that you do like you do here is you go invisible with bow and you'll actually see a shy guy come in and actually reveal the hidden panel there so now that unlocks getting through that section there and then now you're able to jump onto the spring and it'll automatically put you in the box and i guess like the spring jumping into the the box there it like shrinks you down um whereas if you just go straight into the box there it keeps the size and uh you'll um you won't see it later I mean, you'll see it later, but not in this video. So, now the uh, this place has, um, as you see on that map right there, there's four stations here, and they're all color coded stations. And in front of each station, there is a hidden panel. So, uh, when you get to a new station, there usually in front of the uh, the station there, there's a hidden panel. So, uh, these are just normal shy guys right here. Um, the thing that you'll, um, that you'll notice is that, uh, the, uh, they, they count with, with the tattle here, it counts all the color variations. So, if you tattle this yellow one, those blue, uh, you know, blue, red, and green, and those other ones there, that they, they count towards the same person there. So, they, they have the same exact, um, HP amount there. So... Um, so when you see me go against, uh, a color shy guy there, uh, just, you know, if I skip that, that just means it's because they're all the same. 
they all do the same thing. They they're just uh, they just I guess have a favorite color that they wear, and um and all that. So so what you want to do is uh well I mean if you had the quick quick change there you can swap out there. Um I would probably recommend kind of keeping uh Gumbario out because uh, there's actually quite a few uh shy guys here that we actually got a tattle on. And, um, so it kind of helps to have, have that, uh, have, uh, Gumbario in there. Although, I suppose it doesn't matter with the quick change, uh, badge equipped there. So, I guess it's, just make sure to have that equipped there and you don't have to worry about it. So, that was, uh, one of them there. You'll see this black guy guarding a chest here, this black one here. That is called an anti-guy. And he's actually a very hard, um, I guess mini-boss. Uh, he, he has, like, I think 20 or 30 HP there, and he hit, he hits hard. Like, uh, I think, like, he, like, 10 to 15 HP per attack or something like that, and then, like, if he does a, a, um, a special attack there, it does, like, a lot more. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, not yet. So these guys are called, uh, Groove Guys there. They're kind of like Jesters. Uh, they had, uh... They have the ability to um, make you dizzy, and they also have the ability to call in um, people there to, to, you know, get more enemies in the field there. So, it's always good to actually get rid of them quickly. And, um, yeah, that right there. It's, uh, it's not going to work here because I got the feeling fine on, and uh, so it's not going to work there. And there's the example of... The thing uh, calling in reinforces there. So actually, what I'll do is I'll do a power jump on the new guy, and then I'll switch to Cooper, and then I'll do the power shell to get rid of them all. And voila! So uh, at this point, I'm actually getting quite a bit of good uh, star points here. There, I do believe I, I level up like one more time, I think, and that's it. I'm not really sure there. Um, there are some um, me jumping around right there. There actually are some hidden uh, blocks around um, this this whole area here. So uh, so that right there, that's the calculator for um, for the badge guy there. Um, so we we'll, we will be. I will be transitioning here. Um, I'll actually be getting a piece of cake here. Uh, this is cake mix. And um, uh, it makes a cake. Um, I was thinking I was supposed to, I, that I should get that just because I need to make a cake later. Uh, however, um, the way that, uh, that I was planning it out there, you actually get a cake for free. Um, and you use that, you just use that to uh, proceed. Uh, there's, there's a point to where, you know, we can, uh, you know, do something with a cake there. And so this is me transitioning to bringing the calculator back. And, um, I, you'll see what I mean by the cake there. I'll, I'll show that in the next episode, uh, there. And, um, so as soon as I, I give this, uh, this back to him, and then, uh, I just see what badges, uh, he actually currently has. Because after you give the, the calculator back, he actually has badges for sale and they're actually they're actually some new ones and I uh, because of my low coin um, I'm out there I, I can't really get anything so um, then after that there I just uh, I think I go go use the in again and then uh, and then I say and that's the end of the video there so um, so that badge right there that's uh, as it says it's a I spy that's the one that actually um, it will show a little a uh, little bubble over Mario's head there, and it will show a star piece symbol there, and that just means that there's one in the area. It doesn't actually show exactly where, um, but it will just say, you know, hey, there's one on this screen. So it's it's handy, but it's not handy. Uh, but you know, that's whatever. So just going in and out, uh, just going back and forth right there. You can see. Um, there's the hammer version of the the jump version that we got there. That's the Dodge Master. That uh, that basically 
um, allows the action command to be more lenient on uh, your action command there. So it actually, like, if you press it, like, just a second um, or so, like, before or after, it will kind of count it. But, uh, you know, it's whatever. So that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much uh, this video here. So I'm gonna be going in this in here and then saving, and uh, that will be at the end of this video there. And we'll be getting more to the Shy Guy toy box. So, anyways, that's the end of this video here. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and also follow me on Twitter. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So peace.